Okay, for this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install Cryo Utilities 2. This gives massive performance boosts and space savings on your Steam Deck. But you do need to know what you're doing in order to be able to install this. The first thing you need to do is set up a password. So you will go to your start button up in the bottom here. Go to system and then console to bring up the terminal. And then hold down the Steam key and X to bring up the keyboard and type pass WD and then press the enter key. I'm not going to do that because I've already set this up. But what we'll then do is it will prompt you to put in a password. You won't see anything being entered. Don't worry, that's entirely normal. And when you press enter, you'll then be asked to do it again. Next, you will need to install a browser. I'm just going to install Firefox. OK, so now that Firefox is installed, I'm going to launch it. And now I'm going to go to the address that I need. I'm going to bring up the keyboard and it's going to be GIT Hub. Dot com forward slash cryobyte33 forward slash steam hyphen deck hyphen utilities And then go. Once that page is loaded, we just scroll down until we find the install area. Hold down our finger on there and then do save link as. And then make sure you put it on your desktop for easier access and click on save. And it will download. Now we can close the browser and we can install Cryo Utilities. Once you run this, it will come up saying that um, do you want to run this program? If you don't trust it, don't run it. I'm just going to click continue. So now that this is installed, I can run this. So the first thing it's going to ask me to do is to em enter my password. But before that, I've got to uh, accept this. When I installed this before, I actually put in the one terabyte drive, uh, just for everybody to be aware. If you're plugging this into an external screen, uh, which I did, which was a HD screen, this box appeared absolutely massive you couldn't enter anything in because you could only see a part of the box it is a known issue with the steam deck uh, cryo utilities i have been in contact with uh, cryo himself and he's confirmed this and he is looking to uh, address this in one way or another so we'll click yes then we will enter my password And now we have the options for everything that we want to do. If you want really minimal sort of input on this and you just want everything to work really well, then I would suggest that all that you would do is just click on the recommended settings. And these are proved to boost performance in everything apart from Red Dead Redemption. And that's because of some sort of memory leak that it has. Um, so I'm just going to click on recommended. And that's it, that's all uh, set up now in terms of the settings apart from one 
uh, setting that we do need to do. Uh, but if you do want to put your machine back because you don't have experience in problems, you can just go to this stock settings. Um, obviously, any changes that you make will not avoid, avoid your warranty, but will make your machine operate slightly differently. Um, here, there are things to do with the memory, the swap file, the storage, etc., which have already been changed. This is why Red Dead Redemption actually performs worse, but any other games that have been tested are all perform better. But if you are in any doubt or you are concerned it might damage your Steam Deck, although there's nothing that this does that should be able to do that, then don't do it. It's entirely up to you at your risk of whether or not you want to do this or not. So once we've done that, we can have a look and see anything that's on green up here means it's optimal. If it's grey, it means it hasn't been able to configure it. Um, and if it's red, it means it's not optimal. So we've um, resized the swap file. We've done the swappiness. Uh, that's set to about 100. So it's swapping stuff. Every, it gives priority uh, in different ways, but that's reduced down to one on here. Uh, in terms of the memory, uh, the there's a toggle of huge pages and also the shared memory and on this one we've got the sync game data and what this does is it moves all of the shaders and prefixes to the device where the game is installed so whether or not that be the SD card or the um, SSD and finally the delete game data you can clean up your system because when you add and remove software sometimes it doesn't do a very good job of cleaning it up so that's everything that we would do in this utility which is fine uh, now what we want to do is we want to uh, shut down the steam deck okay so next off i'm going to hold down a plus button and the power button at the same time wait for the beep and then that will come up into here. So uh, this is the effectively the BIOS of the system. And we're going to go down and across one. And I'm going to press A to go into here. I'm going to go down to advanced. And I'm going to go down to uh, UMA frame buffer. And then that wants to be set to four. It will be one on your system, no doubt. But you need that to be uh, four. Press the select key to save the change and then press uh, A to say yes. That will reset. Wait for the system to reload. And there we have it. So if we go down to our settings now and go to system, we can check and there the VRAM size is now four gigabytes as opposed to one as it was before and that's it that's cryo utilities now set up on your Steam Deck